Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm gonna be showing you a quick way to make low poly rocks in Blender. First thing you're gonna need is a cube, so just press Shift A, Mesh and add a cube. Now go to edit mode with tab, and then press W and subdivide smooth. Now do that a couple times. What you wanna do now is press space and type in bisect and then press enter. Click and hold your left mouse button. And then you can drag on the screen and you will see it kinda cuts the shape. If this doesn't happen to your mesh, you have to go down here where it says fill and clean outer and check those two. You can press A again twice to select the whole thing. Again press space and bisect. Do the same thing again. And what we're trying to do is just get rid of all these little squares. I'm pretty happy with my shape now. If you want to sculpt this object, you're gonna have to retopologize it. I'm not gonna show you how to do that, but you're gonna have to do it because uh, this is these uh, these are not quads, so it's gonna be pretty hard to sculpt with that. So I'm gonna move my uh, rock upwards, and then I'm gonna press Shift Control Alt C, and I'm gonna set origin to 3D cursor. And now what we can do is press. Control A and apply location, rotation and scale. Actually I forgot to press RX minus 90 to rotate the object because we're gonna be importing it into Unity. And now we're gonna apply the rotation once, once more. I'm just gonna set it back to where it was but don't apply the rotation this time. I'm gonna export it as a FBX but you can export it as anything you want. I'm gonna check selected object down here and uncheck this right next to scale and export. I'm gonna drag my rock to Unity and I'm gonna drag it into my scene and then I'm gonna create a material call it rock mat. Decrease the smoothness to zero drag the material to the rock and then change the color I'm gonna go for a light green if your scene doesn't look like this that's because I have set up uh, some post processing here if you want that you can go to the asset store and search for post processing stack but now we can go and create a prefab and call it rock prefab and then drag in our rock to the rock prefab. And now we can delete the rock from the scene and we can use our rock instead, rock prefab instead. So what I'm gonna actually do, I'm gonna create a little scene here. Okay, if you look here, you can see we have a pretty nice scene with some rocks. Uh, hopefully this tutorial helped you. It is a really uh, dirty and quick way to do it, but hopefully you can use it for some of your projects. And uh, if this did help you, be sure to subscribe because it really helps me out. Uh, leave a like, comment down below if you want to see anything specific in these videos. And uh, go follow me on Reddit and Twitter. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.